Hi guys. This is episode two of So what happened earlier? <laughs> okay, so we came in the house and I brought some stuff in and went to put it in the kitchen and thought it is abnormally hot in my house because my house doesn't get hot because I hate heat. And I said something to Philip and we got to looking at the thermostat and ever since the air was not turning on, we have an 11 month old. We need air. So I don't know if y'all can hear, but we came home tonight to our air conditioner not cooling and um yeah the drain pan is full of water in the attic and we think that the drain pipe is stuffed up so my dad's coming to help build and stop it hey she's broke i gotta fix it it's the best thing about being a homeowner yay you pay a lot of money for it or fix it yourself and I go with fix it yourself because I don't like paying a lot of money. 76 degrees in our house, which to Never a lot of you happens. is not really, no. might not be that hot. Doesn't happen in Hillary. Country. I know some people that leave their thermostat on 77, 78, or whatever, but with it being hot. 95 outside during the day, it's. Y'all, it's yeah. hot as bombs. We, we outside. keep ours on 72, and it, it keep, does a pretty good job of keeping it. <coughs> Keeping it pretty cool in here. So Phil crawls up in the attic and he thinks he knows what it is and I finally get my dad to answer the phone and we've called Philip's stepdad and um <clears throat> so my dad's talking to Philip and he says, Well what if the drain outside is stuffed up? Because there's water in the in the drain pan. Yeah, I I checked the unit outside, it was not coming on. Checked the breakers, they were not tripped. Everything outside seemed fine. The drain even seemed fine because it was dripping. But when I went up in the attic, the pan, the drip pan, was about half full of water. And it turns out we have this awesome thing in our drip pan called a shutoff, a uh, little shutoff sensor. So that when the water gets about halfway up, it shuts the AC off so it doesn't get any more water in there so it doesn't overflow. And it messes up the attic and, and mess leak up the out. Ceiling. And have more problems than what we can Thank afford. Goodness. So, they ended up fixing it. So yeah. we have air now, and they it's starting to feel out. good in here again. Not that it's yeah. very hot anyway yeah. right now, because it's we're supposed to get nice. a cold from yeah. it. It's supposed to be like 80 degrees instead of 90 degrees mm -hmm. this week. So, yes. It's actually nice outside right now. It's in the 70s. It's so my, almost bonfire weather. My handyman husband fixed the air conditioner. I'm so proud of him. So if you watched my live earlier, this is kind of expanding on what I was talking about. Yeah. Um, and if you're not my friends on Facebook, then you have no idea what I'm even talking about. So, um, but yeah. yeah. So our air conditioner is um, working now, thanks to old Philip over just a, here. Just a little bit of, you know, a few phone calls, um, a little bit of work. So, y'all so, have something go wrong, don't just immediately call people about it. Do YouTube it. Look, look, look it up. It. Google. Chances are it's something you might can just fix yourself. And if you can't call Philip, he'll figure it out. If you have my number. If you don't have my number, don't look for it. Tweet him. If I don't know, if I don't know your number, I'm probably not going to answer. All right, leave can, a message. You can tweet me. Um, let's see, what else can we talk about in our ramblings? I went to a party last night and it was really fun. Um, so my friend Tish um, is a maze boss. I hope you're watching this because you're a maze boss. Um, and I tell her that all the time, so she knows I think she's a maze boss. Um, but it was so fun. Um, we did a luau with her and some of her other friends and just hung out and had a good old time. It was fabulous. If you're not friends with her, you should be. Um, I had a weird sickness thing on Friday. I, I hardly ever get sick. I woke up Friday morning with just barely a fever. Didn't even feel like I was sick. And then I was just not really even congested, but had some drainage in the back of my throat all day. Then that afternoon, had another fever and ended up taking cold medicine. It's a little bit better Saturday. And then today, we're filming this on Sunday. I've been fine all day today. Just a little bit of drainage in the back of my throat. My ears have been stopped up all day. Just some weird little sinus thing. I feel like I'm underwater. 
So if it seems like I'm screaming or I'm not talking very loud, it's because I'm trying not to blow you guys out on the video. Um, but this gear keeps itching. So, and I haven't been in the water. Like the only yeah. water I've been in is the shower. So we I just, don't have swimmers either. We're dreaming about going to the beach, but not getting in the water because of all the bacteria. And I'm, okay. So <laughs> I'm good with not getting in the water at the beach. Like I could walk on the sand or just listen to the waves all day long. Yeah. The last time that we went to the beach was Panama City and it was for our anniversary. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember what year that was. 2000. What is this, 19? Yeah, I don't remember the year. 15? May have been 15. 14, 15, something like I that. I want to say it was for a 7th. So it may have been 15. The last time that, that, would, have that would have been the last time that we got in the water, the last time which is fine, whatever. But well, we live busy lives. That's true. Um, <laughs> but I had my favorite pair of sunglasses get sucked mm. off in the water, which was stupid because I was holding on to them and then they just, I, I was holding on to them. And I don't like water to come over my head anyway. And a wave like just took my feet out from under me and everything. I'm perfectly fine with not getting in the water. But let me just reiterate something. If there are double red flags up, don't be dumb. No, no. If you're one of those people that thinks you can defy nature, don't be dumb. No. They have those flags up there for a reason. And yeah. this is the thing, is that you're mm. endangering yourself, you're endangering your children, but you're also endangering somebody else's child because their life bar's out there. And mm -hmm. they have to crawl in to save your stupid self. Mm. I'm just going to be honest with you, y'all are going to like me very much on Phil's channel. Double flags. Don't get but it anyways, and now there's all this bacteria stuff. And look, don't I get it's the, the ocean. People do things. But don't get in the water. My best friend and his wife... And their family are down there right now, and I have told him several, 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 several times, do not get in the water. Whatever you do, don't get in the water. As far as I know, they haven't gotten in the water because they're smart. Um, which, by the way, my best friend, um, did we say anything about them last time? I don't think so. Um, <clears throat> so they Meeting were. Meeting dinner, by the way. Grilled cheese. Grilled yeah. cheese. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. They were the um, in the tornado that happened March 3rd. Mm -hmm. um, here in Lee County and um, they are hopefully getting their foundation laid sometime and he said the end of July which would be this week so. um, and then their house should be built in October so um, but for him to leave here and go to the beach where they're at um, is huge so mm -hmm. um, but they're doing a lot better um, so um, just Keep praying for them if that's your thing, um, especially first foot. I won't go under too much because I just won't. It's not my story. There was a there was a video but. that a um, news local news station did on them. I'll try to find it and put it down below in the comments. It's but awesome. Stuff. It's awesome because I know I like, shared it on Twitter and Facebook and stuff, um, but I'll find that. But CBS News did it, and yeah. this was like if it's still up, I'll post it for y'all. Two to three days after and he had had surgery and just his whole attitude is, is still the same. Mm -hmm. He's still happy and smiling and I mean he's kind of mm -hmm. getting back to his old self and you know some normalization is happening but to know him before the tornado and to know him now I feel like it's night and day and I've known him my entire life and I'm sure a lot of people are going your best friends up away how does Phil feel about that? Philip doesn't care. I am married to Philip. This boy has been in my, my life my entire life, mm -hmm. and my husband knew that, so mm -hmm. just chill. Um, but yeah, so they're doing good, and they're having fun, and um, Link is 11 months old, which that happened like last week, so y'all knew that. Yep. Um, and That's we're getting Wednesday. ready for, we kept saying Thursday, <laughs> and it was Wednesday. Wednesday. Turned 11 months old. Wow. So, um, I didn't even realize until I got to work and I was like, wait, today's the 17th. Right. I did it's say it was Thursday and it was Wednesday. Yeah. Um, but he is exploring the idea of standing up by himself. When he figures out that we've kind of got him standing up by himself and we let him go himself, not his self. <laughs> um, his self. Um, he figures out that he's standing and he just kind of eases right on back down. He mm -hmm. sits down. He's like, I'm, I'm good. I had him one day and and the pillar to hold him up and go one, two, three, and then let him go. 
you know, fall towards her. And I had him standing up with me and I went, one, two, three, and just let go of him. And he didn't even realize what was happening for a second. He just stood there. And once he realized he was standing there, he slowly he just sat eased down. He it on down. Yeah. So he's, he can do he's it. messing with the idea of standing up by himself. And a lot of people are like, don't rush it, don't rush it, don't rush it. And I don't want to rush it, but I love to watch him learn new things. Look, like, it's the highlight of like my whatever. Yeah, it's really um, fun. Like, it's really fun to watch Watching him. him. When he, when he got up with his walker for one of the first times and started walking with that thing, it's, it's just so exciting. The first time he would wave to people, yeah. it was at Easter. We were at a breakfast and he looked at, I think, I think it, it was, was your my mama. Grandma. It was my mom or my grandpa, grandpa or somebody. He looked over uh -huh. at him and went like that and I just freaked out. And I was like, show everybody what you yeah. can do. Ah, he's waving. And, and of course kids, they have this thing on them. You know, we said we were gonna do 10 minutes. This is like more than 10 yeah, minutes. Man, so. yeah, it's okay, y'all are just gonna have to learn. We're gonna ramble. So. It's like Peter McKinnon's Two Minute Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I was gonna say something. What was I saying? We were talking about new things and yeah, kids when they, when they start doing something. Oh, but when you want them to do something for a crowd. Mm, yeah, they won't. They, yeah. they shy. But he um He clap now. He claps. My dad does like my dad just sits like this. Mm -hmm. And when Link sees it, he's like trying to do it and it's so funny. Um yes. it's cuter when he does it. Like I'm he's not getting nearly to used where to where he, he impersonates stuff that we do and our dogs are outside barking at. He can just wait. Um I've started making a face and so he does it again way cuter when he does it. I can't believe this is the last week in July, quite honestly. It's not. It's not? Nope, we have another half a week after this one. Okay. It's the last week it's in last July. Last full week in July. Mr. Technical Year. That's me. Um, he does this to me all the time, probably. And it's fine. I knew that about him before I, I married him. I also point out very obvious things, like your shirt is orange. He needs to be Captain Obvious for Halloween. <laughs> um... <laughs> But yeah, I feel like June and July, just, and four weeks from yesterday, we'll be throwing a one-year birthday party. I promise. Invitations are gonna get sent. Yeah. If you, if you don't, don't, if you don't, get, if you don't one, get one, don't come. Please. Well, please don't be offended. My house <laughs> yeah, only fits offended. so many people, and it's a one-year-old birthday. Yeah. I'm not inviting everybody, so please don't be offended. If you are, um, I can't do anything for you. So, we'll take pictures. Yeah, and Somebody I'm sure video pictures. will be taken. Like we'll you'll get video. to see it. Um, let's see. Anything else that we can talk about this week? I've got a couple more videos that I need to do. Like the, that box, the yarn box. I haven't done the second month with that, and that was like three months, like two or three months ago or something. So, How dare you? Uh, it's coming. Maybe this week. Maybe. Y'all don't hold your breath. Maybe I'm this week. Sorry. I do have an opinion on it, so. I like the yarn boxes that he's got, so I'll just go ahead and throw my. I'll what? Let I'll let y'all know. No, oh, like oh, his opinion is not. He's opinion gonna opinion. in yeah. the video, so you have to go. Up. But I like it because I'm not gonna be in that video. Yeah. So. yeah. Um. Oh, and the mead and the cider are coming along nicely. It's of course been another week. I did find some bottles. Uh, Aldi has these uh, this pink lemonade that I've been looking oh, for for so about a good. month now. I've been looking for but this But y'all, let me be real here. Mm. We have looked on every shelf except this one shelf when he looked down the other day when we were in there and it was there. The so deal. I'm almost sure that it's been on this one shelf so, the entire time we've been looking for it and we just haven't looked on that shelf. So we went to Big Lots to look at these rugs. And while we were there, well, we were going to get some more hand soap and stuff too. While we were there, I said, let me just look and see if they have any, any of these bottles with swing tops on. So we, we look in one spot, they didn't have any. We look down this other aisle and Henry just points right there. So I go there and look and there, there they are. And it's like a, it's like a um, sparkling lemonade type thing, but it's pear. He is pear and the other cranberry. one Cranberry. Yeah, like cranberries. I bet that one would have been good. Though. It would have, but all the cranberry bottles were like sticky. So I didn't want to get one of those. So I got two of the pear. And I made the joke, we were going back to Aldi to get some bottled water, and I said, I guarantee you, since I bought those two at Big Lots, when we get to Aldi, they're going to have that lemonade we've been looking for for a month. And we got to Aldi, and we walked to the water, and something caught my eye, and there it was. 
But I'm there. almost sure that it's, it's been, been there, there the whole time. And that's the one place we just didn't look. Because Thank goodness we never, it wasn't like, a bucket of rattlesnakes. We don't go down that way. Yeah. We but don't. now we know we where it around, is. So. so when we go back. Hopefully they'll small. have it. Because the pink small. lemonade was really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I can reuse those bottles. They're great. There's another YouTuber that. Here's the thing. I keep finding. Well, I keep saying, here's the thing. Here's the thing. But here's a thing. I keep watching all these different YouTubers and I keep finding people that I want to meet. Uh, I've been watching a lot of gardening videos, a lot of... Because uh, we want to build a garden, not just because he likes yeah, gardening videos. Yeah. Now, I like watching people with their gardens too, but I, I want to have a better garden. Um, and I've been watching videos of people doing fermenting foods, people brewing things, fishing uh, outdoor nice people fishing. And, yeah. And so I've got like maybe five or ten different people on YouTube that I would just love to meet one day. <sighs> I just bit my tongue. Ouch. Ouch. The backside, it hurt. Oh, I chewed yeah. on my tongue the other night, but that's I'm not. Anyway. That's because you were sick. Yeah. Or whatever that yeah. was. Apparently grinding my Look, But anyway. Philip has 18 billion hours, and that's like an exaggeration, but he had a lot of sick time. And he never gets to use it I because gets, he gets sick when he's at home. I take a I take a vacation day and I get sick, or it's a weekend and I get sick, or it's a holiday and I get sick. Literally one Halloween before we had kids and we bought our house and moved and everything. Um, he got sick on a Friday and by Sunday he was fine. Mm -hmm. I get sick with what he got sick with. If I'd have gotten it sick of him, I'd still be in bed sick. Mm -hmm. But like Friday, I took Friday off, I got sick, I'm better today, just in time to go to work. That's why he has 18 Yay. billion hours of sick time. Yeah. Um, but we do have a kid now, so I'll probably take some of off of him eventually, maybe. Hopefully we'll not, though. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Yeah, oh, yeah, now our house is all cooled off now. But thankfully yep. it wasn't hot, so. Yep. Or as hot. I really wish whatever's going on in my ear would stop, though. I don't like my ears being stopped up. It's weird. A lot of y'all are getting ready to go back to school. I'm so sorry. Me too. Um, that'll be another rambling video. Just yep. leave it at that. We'll, we'll save that for post um, August. Or again, August. I guess that's it. We don't really. Is it good? good. Another grilled cheese. Well, I make them grilled cheese. Um,. Oh, one more thing and then we'll probably be done. I want you guys to do something for me. Um, if your most favorite person in the world, whether your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, best friend, mom, dad, sibling, whoever it may be, get them to make a sandwich. You make the exact same sandwich the exact same way they do and tell me which one tastes better. I am one of those people that say when something is made with love, food-wise, it always tastes better. So if somebody makes, I can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Philip can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it tastes way better than just my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But I think it's because it's made with love. So y'all let us know um, if that is the case, if y'all have ever found that to be true. This is a research study. Um, because I find it to be to be true. My dad can make a sandwich and turn around make the exact same sandwich and his tastes better than mine. He can do the same thing and I think his tastes better than mine. Um, his mom can cook she, dinner and it'll taste better than what I make, but I think it's because it's just made with love. She can pan fry, pan fry pork chop, but I can turn around and burn that same pork chop and hers tastes better than mine. Yeah, but burning it and pan frying it are two completely different things. <laughs> That's why I said a sandwich. Oh. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I just drank lemonade. Um, but yeah. Bubbly lemonade. So just let me know in the comments. Send Philip a tweet. Yeah. Something like that. Something just because a lot of people just don't even realize that that like food made by other people that love you tastes better than the food you make yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all I have to say. Then. Okay. So I guess we'll see you guys later. Bye.